Hey everybody. So today I wanted to show you how you can take your Windows 11 computer and you can change the scrolling direction for your mouse, whether it's a wireless or wired mouse. So maybe yours currently, if you scroll down, it actually scrolls up on the page, but you want to scroll down and it'll scroll down on the page. So I'm going to show you how you can change so you can either scroll down and it'll go down or you can scroll down and it'll go up on the page. And then I'm going to show you three ways you can do that. You can do it with Windows itself. And then if Windows is not allowing you to do it, we can go into the registry editor and we can do it that way. And then if you don't want to deal with either one of those, you can just get a third party app. And I'm going to show you quite a few so that you can pick out the one that's best for you. So let's go over to the Windows 11 computer now, and I'll show you all the steps you need to take in order to do that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, on the Windows computer, make sure it's turned on, boot it up to the desktop, and you can see the Windows taskbar at the bottom. And then we're going to go into the Windows settings. So down here at the bottom, we're going to click on Start, and then we're going to click on Settings. Now, if Settings does not show up right there, you can click on All Apps, and then you can scroll down towards the bottom, and then look under the S's, and it should be one of the first ones listed, and you can click on Settings there. Now here, what you want to do is you want to click on Bluetooth and Devices. And then once that pulls up, you want to click on mouse or sometimes it'll be called trackpad. So I'm going to click on mouse on mine. Now here, sometimes you will see a section that is called gestures and interactions. And in that section, you'll have scroll and zoom. And then you can click on scrolling direction. And what you can do is you can change it from down motion scrolls up or down motion scrolls down. Now, I do not have that section here on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into the second way you can do it. But this would be the first and the easiest way that you can do it. And if you'll just change it to be the other direction, now your mouse or your trackpad will scroll the opposite direction, which is exactly what you wanted. So the second way we're going to do it is I'm going to go ahead and close out of the settings. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open my device manager. So I'm going to go down here to the start button and I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to device manager. Now on your device manager, if you'll notice, underneath mice and other pointing devices, if you click the arrow, you should see one that says HID compliant mouse. Well, you want to right click on that and go to properties. Now, once that opens up, we're going to click on details. And then underneath property, we're going to click here and change it to device instance path. Now here, we need to note a couple of things, but I'm also going to make it easier for you so that you don't have to remember all this. So the VID all the way over here to this slash, that's going to be your device ID, but you don't have to remember that. All we're going to do is we're going to leave this open and we're going to go over to Registry Editor, and that way you can easily find it when you need to look over and find the one that you're wanting. So we're going to click here on the Start button, and we're going to type in Reg Edit, which is short for Registry Editor, and then we're going to click on Run as Administrator. Now, if you get this prompt, asking do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device and it's the registry editor you do want to click yes now here in your registry editor 
you want to make sure that you can see this window, which is the HID compliant mouse properties, and you also want to be able to see the registry editor. Now, on the registry editor, you want to go to the H key local machine, and then you want to go to system, and then you want to go to current control set. And then under current control set, you want to go to ENUM. And then we're going to go to HID. And then here's where we have to know which one we want to look at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. And if you'll notice at the end of ours, it's MI underscore zero one. So I'm looking for that. And it's right here. So I'm going to double click on that. And then it has a folder underneath here. And if you'll notice, this folder is the same as this folder over here. So I'm going to go into that folder. And then you want to go under device parameters. Now under device parameters, it has this option which is called flip flop wheel. And all that means is it's going to have it scroll the opposite direction. Now, currently, it's set to off. And when this is set to off, that means that it is the traditional scrolling, which means that if you scroll up, it's going to move down on the page or on the window. And then if you were to turn it on so that it was the natural scrolling, if you scroll up, it's going to go up on the page. And if you scroll down, it's going to go down on the page. So you can choose whichever one you want. Just remember, zero is traditional. So if you go and you decide that you want to scroll up, so, so you're scrolling this way, it's going to go down on the page. And then if you scroll down, it's going to go up on the page. But if you want it to go the opposite direction, so it's a more natural fill, if you scroll down, it'll go down and scroll up, it'll go up. Then you want to go into this flip-flop wheel right here, and you want to double-click on it, and you want to change this to a 1, and then click OK. And that's, that's really it. Now all you have to do is just restart your computer, and when it comes back up, it's going to scroll the opposite direction. Now... If you don't want to have to go through all that and you're just like, I don't know if I want to mess with the registry, I would rather just have a program that would do it for me. Not a problem. There's two programs that I really wanted to share with you, and there's a third one that you can get depending on which mouse you have. And it'll depend on if you have a Microsoft mouse, a Logitech mouse, whoever made the mouse that you're currently using. So let me close all of these windows. And then we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you those two programs that you can go and you can download if you want to. Okay, so the first program that you can download if you want to is called WizMouse. So I'm going to go ahead and go down and open up Microsoft Edge. You can either find it down here in the taskbar or you can click on Start. And then you can go to All Apps or as you can see mine's right here, it's pinned or you can click on all apps and then scroll down and then right there is Microsoft Edge. So any of those places, just go ahead and open Microsoft Edge. Now once Microsoft Edge opens up, we're going to go to google.com and I'm just going to search for WizMouse. So right up here at the top, type in google.com and press enter. Okay, so here on Google search, I'm just going to type in Wiz Mouse. Okay, so over here, you can click on Download Wiz Mouse, and it's not really going to download it. It's just going to take you to the web page where we can read about this program. Now, I really like this program, and I have tested it out. You can go and you can scroll any window under the mouse pointer. Now, in Windows 10 and Windows 11, it doesn't matter. If you put your mouse over a window and you start scrolling, 
it's going to scroll up and down on that window for you. See, like it is right now. And if I had another window pulled up and I moved my mouse on top of it, it would scroll on that window. But on earlier versions of Windows, you couldn't do that. If you had Windows 8, Windows Vista, Windows 7, any of those, you couldn't do that. But guess what? You can put this program on those versions of Windows and it'll let you scroll on those windows as long as your mouse is hovering over the window, even if you haven't clicked on the window. Now, another neat thing is you can enable mouse wheels so you can do the scrolling in really old applications. So even if it was like a DOS-based version, you might be able to get this to work. Now, I haven't tried it in DOS, but I'm saying you might be able to. And then, of course, which is what we're all trying to do here, is you can reverse the mouse wheel direction. So, you scroll down, it'll go down. You scroll up, it'll go up. Or you can put it back to the traditional way. You scroll down, and it'll move up on the page. You scroll up, and it'll move down on the page. So, either way you want it to go, you just choose the one you would prefer. Now, the other program, which is also free, both of these are free, but then do ask if you wouldn't mind make a free donation to them just because they did work really hard on it. But the other program, we're going to go up here to the top and I'm going to go back to google.com and I'm going to press enter. So here on Google, we're going to search for x-mouse button control and then I'm going to press enter. Okay. So here on the list of results, you want to click on this first one. Now, again, I know I mentioned this just a second ago. It's free as well. It may not be quite as refined as the Wiz mouse, but it works just as well. And you can do even more configuration with this if you want to. So you can go and you can download the portable version right here, or you can download the latest version right here. Either one you want. But if you'll notice, there's lots of things you can do with this. Support for Vista, Windows 8, Windows 10, Windows 11. You can do click and drag with the sticky button. So you just click a button and it'll hold it and drag it somewhere. And then you can do capture screen. And of course, this one will do the same thing that the other program did, where you can reverse the direction of the scrolling, which is what you were wanting to do. So... This one is a great one as well. I wanted to show you both of those. Now, depending on which mouse you have, it may have come with software that you can go and you can download directly from the manufacturer. So if you'll notice, I have a Microsoft mouse right here, which is actually a wireless IntelliMouse Explorer 2.0. So I could go and I can download the software for it, and in that software may be an option for me to go and swap the scrolling direction. So instead of scrolling up and it goes down, I can make it when I scroll up, it goes up. So that may be something that you want to look at too. Just go and see if the company that made your mouse, whether it's Logitech, Microsoft, or another brand, whether any of them made a piece of software that you can put on your computer and you can change the scrolling direction so that it'll work for you. So I hope that was helpful on how you can change the scrolling direction in your Windows 11 computer. If you do have any questions about this or how to use either one of those pieces of software, I'll be more than happy to help you. Just let me know down below in the comments if you have any questions, and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about that. And if there's a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to create that video for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I change the scroll direction in Windows 11 and I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.